Okay, with all the latest buzz going on around uh, about rearing monarchs outdoors now, rather than indoors, thought I'd share with you my crude outdoor rearing cage. I made it a few months ago. This is August. I think I made it in June. It's five foot tall. I think it's five by two. It's two by two square. Two by fours and window screen uh, staple on it. It's really crude. The door in the front is Velcro. If I can get a hold of it. It's starting to come off. I can open it up. This sets right over. This is milkweed that's growing out of, out of my one of my driveways here. It's growing wild out of the milkweed bed. But uh, basically maintenance free. I don't have to feed the caterpillars or water the milkweed. It's just you pick it up and move it as the caterpillars eat the milkweed down. They can just be moved to new fresh plants. And there's a, monitor, there's a caterpillar there outside. But the problem with it is it's really heavy because of the two befores and it's bulky and hard to lift and put over a four and a half foot tall plant stock of milkweed but it does its job I've had uh, let's see 15 well, 18 caterpillars in here so far form chrysalis well not form chrysalis basically 18 caterpillars besides the one that's in there now um, only two of them have died one of them was had tachnid fly maggots in it but it was a caterpillar I brought in later. And another one, Jay hung, when it was just too small to Jay hang and died in the process. But it's uh, it's not, well, like I say, there's, you can get ants in here. I haven't really seen any spiders or anything. Uh, it does keep out the wasp and the flies and so far assassin bugs and the like. Pretty much most of the flying predators are the big predators. And, uh, but anyway, I thought I'd share it. it, it I want to redesign it and make it out of two by twos and make it easier to move and put a door on it with hinges rather than this Velcro, which is kind of falling apart. But I, put, I thought I'd put this video up to share with, with everyone how I've done it and maybe somebody can improve this or get an idea off of it to design a better one but like i said so far it's worked i've reared and released 13 monarchs so far healthy in here still got a few chrysalis hanging and uh we put some fresh caterpillars in here on this milkweed and get ready for migration i'd like to build another one for migration but i don't know if i'll have time to improve it if I do, I'll make a video. I made this thing here last night. Kind of emergency makeshift hillbilly outdoor rearing cage. It's a chicken wire with window screen inside of it. And a piece draped over the top with bungee straps holding it together. And it's got 5,000 zip ties holding it on and staked down with a wooden stake. But there's five or six small caterpillars inside of it now. On the milkweed plant so like I said hopefully somebody can improve this or get an idea of how I've done it and uh, I thought it was crucial to have the monarch the caterpillars outside anyway before the report came out just because I think they need natural humidity and sunlight rather than air conditioning and and a dark room but not the sun beating down on them because in the wild they're in humidity and there's sunlight beating on them and the like so there you have it if i come up with a better one a newer one i'll make another video thanks for watching